Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar. In this video, we will see how to make our Google TV faster. We are using Google TV Streamer 4K, but the steps could be applicable for other Google TV devices as well. That includes smart TVs and media streaming devices. So let's check it out. We are using the latest Google TV streamer 4K device which is actually faster than the previous Chromecast models but if we need to make it more faster then there are some ways to do that. Since this is powered by Google TV these steps should be applicable for most of the previous Google TV devices too. We will start them one by one. The first and the most essential step is to enable developer options. This is like enabling developer options or developer mode on our Android devices. We get access to some advanced options that will help us to customize our user experience. To do this on Google TV, take our Google TV remote and go to settings. Then go to system. Select that. Then go to about. Select that. And now here we have to go to Android TV OS version. The steps might vary a bit depending on how old our device is or how old the uh, software version is. So after going to this one, we just have to use our remote to select this seven times like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we already enabled developer options. Suppose if you are doing this for the first time, then you will get a small pop-up saying you are now a developer. That's all. To access the developer options, we can go to settings. Then go to system. Then here we can find the developer options. So these are the options we have. They will be more or less similar to the ones we find on our Android smartphone. That's all. Now here we have to go to we just have to scroll down and go to animation duration scale select this and here we have to choose animation scale 0.5x we can even uh, turn this off but it will feel a bit dull so we prefer 0.5x for this this is for the user interface generally uh, then we can go to go to this one background process limit so here we can choose at most two processes this is for the ram thing we cannot use our android or google tv just like we use our android devices uh, we cannot run multiple background apps they don't really provide that much of memory for smart tvs for the second one we can go to settings then go to system then go to devices and here we have this option scan for nearby devices we will get notified when devices are nearby for connection uh, compatible devices personally we are not using this so if you are also not using this then you can disable this for the third one we can uh, disable sharing usage and diagnostics statistics we can do this on two areas for, for the first one we can go to settings system and go to keyboard then gboard settings and here we have share usage statistics we can disable this option then for the second one we can go to settings and then we can go to privacy and here we can go to usage and diagnostics we can disable this option as well that's all for the fourth one if the apps on our google tv are very slow or getting frozen for some random reasons then we can try this go to settings and go to system go to storage then select internal shared storage and now here we have to go to our cache data so we are going to remove this this will only remove temporary data and we don't have to sign in again because of this so we can select this we will get this confirmation choose ok done 
Before we proceed further, we created a playlist for Google TV or Google TV Streamer 4K with a lot of tips and tricks to improve watching experience. We published uh, full length tutorials as well. We will share that in the description. You can check it out after watching the video. For the fifth one, we can uninstall the apps we don't want. We all get excited to use Android on our smart TV and install plenty of uh, apps just like that. We can make a list of apps that we actually need and uninstall the apps we don't. This will help us with the background process memory and also save some storage space. To uninstall the apps, go to settings, then go to apps, go to see all apps. Here we can uh, find the app that we don't use. I'll select this. I'm going to uninstall this app because my subscription got over, but it's a good app. Uninstall. Okay. So that's all. For the sixth one, we have to make sure our Android or Google TV is up to date. We get updates for our Google TV OS now and then that will include performance boost and minor or major bug fixes. So it's good to keep our Google TV device updated. To do this, go to settings, go to system and go to about and here go to system update. It will check for new updates and if we have a new update, we can proceed further with a restart and it will finish it. It will uh, install it. That's all. For the seventh one, we can try the apps only mode. Suppose if we just want to use our TV to watch Netflix, Prime, etc. And we don't need any other uh, Google TV fancy features, then this is a good option. We can make the whole uh, interface minimal and it will give us a smooth, fast experience. To do this, we can go to settings and go to accounts and sign in. Choose our account. And now if we scroll down, we have this apps only mode. We can just turn this on. That's all. We can you now you can read all this. So all the features will be disabled and we will only just have the apps turn on. So now if we go to the home, we just find the apps. That's all. Apps only mode is enabled. You can okay. So that's all. For the eighth one, last but not least, we can do a factory reset overall. A fresh new start could fix some things and we will get the opportunity to use the right settings from the beginning. It might help with some connectivity issues too. To do this, go to settings, then go to system, then about and here we have the option to factory reset. We just have to follow the steps. That's all. Personally, using Google TV Streamer 4K feels much better by default, but these additional tips could make the whole experience more faster. We heard there are other tips like installing new launcher and stuff, but, the, but that's a different long topic. We will make a separate video for that in the future. These are the steps to make our Google TV Streamer 4K and other similar Google TV devices faster. Thanks for watching this video. Do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you find this video helpful. Have a wonderful day and night.